What's up, everyone? Well, exciting day. We're here at Terry's house from Whipsaw Woodworks picking up our table. Wow, dude. It's really cool to be here finally with you, man, and How's see your shop. Good to see you, Phil. Good yeah, good to see you, man. Good to see you. Yeah, thanks again for taking on building the table. I know I definitely wanted something pretty specific, but uh, yeah, you were up for the challenge. I'm super excited about it. There it is right there. I'll show it to you in a little bit. This is a friend of mine uh, build I did. This is kind of what I normally do. Big live edge slab, stuff like that. Wow. So, kind of pretty. Yeah, that is just beautiful. This is alligator oh juniper. Oh my goodness. Right off of the Prescott National Forest here. Wow. We got some epoxy on there, some other filler and edge. And that's mainly a lot of what you do is live edge stuff. Live right? edge stuff, big stuff, because I have, you know, I got a sawmill here. So I go out and I uh, get the wood out of the woods, cut it down, big chainsaws and stuff, <coughs> drag it back here, mill it, and then I make uh, cool stuff out of it. Yeah, it's so <laughs> cool, man. And I actually was staying at Kevin's working on the interior and I went to the Artisan Woodwork shop, like not even a mile from his house. Yes. Talked to them and I was, I was nervous about building my own table and then they gave me your card. That part, I, I'm actually a local firefighter. I work with my... Yeah. Local fire department mm -hmm. and um yeah i talked to you on the phone i wrote down to mob on the board just because i was showing the guys your videos and stuff it's like hey and then this a friend of mine who worked on another shift came in the hud he's a great guy um he was telling me that he met you the night before because you guys were having a little bonfire and they had to tell you to put it out but he hung out with you guys big. for like <laughs> he hung out with you guys for a couple hours and uh i uh Hanging out, Kevin's working. Not a fire van, are we? No way. No way. <laughs> are we in fire van? No, not yet. Okay. <laughs> so it was just kind of yeah, it was very cool, very serendip serendipitous, like you said. This piece of walnut that I used for your table. So mm -hmm. I, I had this really cool piece of bird's eye maple uh, plywood that um, I had laying around. The fact that this walnut came from the Prescott National Forest that Same you salvaged thing. with like bullets in it. Yes, yes. Cut in there. And... I'll show you some of the bullets. I've kind of been doing a little bit of woodworking and carving and stuff kind of my whole life. I, I came out of the timber industry before I was a firefighter. Mm -hmm. And um, so been running chainsaws since I was 17 years old and, uh, you know, running saws and uh, doing woodwork. And I just kind of have a passion for it. What I do these days is mostly big live edge slab stuff, some charcuterie boards and little things like this. Oh, those are cool. Mm -hmm. I love the colors. Yeah, in these there. are a little dusty because they're in the process, but you know, kind of cool stuff like this. People just love this stuff. To me, it's the wood that's just so amazing. I mean, the color's neat, but look at the green in this. Yeah, absolutely. That looks so good. It's amazing. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. I wish my boys were here. They're good dudes. They're uh, they they're always in here when they're home working with me. Um, what do you think, Phil? I think I'm ready to cut with the biggest chainsaw I've ever cut with in my whole life. Yeah. So you're saying you're down to saw? I'm down to saw. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I see. I saw what you did there. <laughs> yeah, did you see? Coast saw mark box. <laughs> Thank you for letting me run that. No 
Oh, Holy cow, that was a rush. My Crocs are full of sawdust. And yeah, OSHA approved Crocs footwear. Uh, all right. Check this thing. Yes. Let's check this thing out. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's like a bowling alley. No, it's so, oh, it's so beautiful, man. Wow, it's thick and, oh, it's strong because of the trim on the bottom. Yeah. Ooh! Wow, this is beautiful, man. Wow, look at that. Got some trays for you underneath. Yes. Fold it up. Yes, cool. I love that. And it folds up to be, you know, so small. Oh, that's one of the, one of the bullets. That's it right there, yeah. Cool. I like that a lot. Oh man, this folds up so neat. Oh, this is so, dude. This you is like so. I love cool. it. A bit. Oh. Wow, and it's then, so beautiful, man. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I can't wait to see it in the rig. Oh, it's gonna look so good. Going to Overland Expo in two days now with this. All righty. Need to switch them. Slide. Here, I'll, I'll pop right. the top too so we can stand. Get broken in. All right, let's check out this table in here. And the table's in. Holy cow. Look at that. Look at that. That is so epic. That's a lot of space on a table. Big table. That was super important to me when building this camper. Even though it's a small camper, is to have a big table. A lot of campers don't have a big table that you can, you know, really get two people working on. And if you have time. to. You yeah. Use half of it. Yeah, exactly. You can just use that little bit or you. Where it's going to sit. That will go right there. Yeah, exactly. Matching walnut blocks that are going to go in the rig to support the table when it's down. And... Nice. Yeah. Yeah, that is some good walnut. Why does it rot usually, you know? Yeah, I don't know. It's just something about Arizona walnut. It's just a little bit different than all that really nice East Coast stuff. Yeah. And something about the climate makes it, you know, get really soft and the, the heartwood gets really soft. So it's really hard to find this much good wood in a piece of walnut in Arizona. But we got one. Nice. Yeah, I guess being a firefighter helps you find good trees. You know, I spend a lot of time in the woods. I got a lot of friends that hunt deer and elk and stuff, and I hunt trees. So. There you go. <laughs> oh, it's going to suck it up in there? Cool. That's neat. Wow. And it's sanding it? No way. That's pretty neat. You just send it through. It's like a Quiznos. It's just like getting your subs toasted at Quiznos. You just send them through. This is even faster, actually. Now I'm hungry. Now I'm hungry. All right, you guys, check this out. The table is set, and it is so beautiful. And this is where the table will go for the bed. We'll put these pieces of walnut under here to support so stoked with how the table feels in here how it looks in here um, it matches the lightness of this a lot like i said this balsa wood and birch combo but it, it's also a lot different and it's got a lot of greens and the epoxy is just beautiful this epoxy job that uh terry did and then the walnut trim is something else it's truly like out of this world. Oh, it's crazy. Oh, it's bolted in. All right. 
This is where the table will live now. And it will not move away from here. And look at that, you guys. I can move all around my camper just like that. We'll pull and slide that table out of the way. And look at that, you guys. Oh my gosh. I am so excited. Let me turn this fan off. This is really loud. I'm so excited. This is standing in the camper. This is moving around. Once we have the kitchen flipped down right here, this is how much floor space you're gonna have in the camper. Push this down, unfold it, slide it into place. Fold that piece down from the wall. Move your pads and there's your bed. Why no cab over? Cause sleeping down here on the bed setup is gonna be awesome. If you've got the top popped, you've got tons of space. You can almost stand up leaning over in the bed. Yeah, again, we can maneuver this around. We've got both of them clipped, but we can just do one. Um, it's slid out of the way here. So if you just want a lot of space here, then you're good. And then of course, when you want that big table, you just open it up and it's there for you. And almost the whole, like it's a massive table in this whole camper, in this little camper. And I'm just so, so stoked, you guys. <laughs> yes, the plan has come together. This is a success. Having this table in like this literally makes me go, okay, it worked everyone. It is a success. All right, man, well, that was so awesome. Thanks for letting me rip on your amazing saws. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely down to saw, right? You're down to saw. You're down to saw for sure. I'm down to saw. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, check out, uh, you know, Terry Whipsaw Woodworks. If you guys need any custom, we do mainly live edge stuff, but yeah. we might have gotten you into more camper things now, right? Oh, for sure. Right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And we were just talking, maybe we'll do some uh, some custom cutting boards down to mob, you know, collab with, with you on some of that. Very so cool. if you guys want one of those, maybe comment and get the buzz going there and yeah for sure yeah check out terry and comment and hit that like if you enjoyed the video i think the only question is are you down to mob